All right, hello. Idiots on Parade, the Too Ugly for TV podcast. We mock the news so you don't have to. Hello, Jake. How's it going? All is well here. That is Jake Vevra, stand-up comedian in New York City. And joining us today is my friend Sean Boyd, stand-up comedian in, is it Cleveland or Akron? I met him at the Funny Stop in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. But are you Cuyahoga Falls? I thought you were an adjacent city. Which one is it? So I'm originally from Cleveland, so that's what I rep, but I started comedy in the falls and I stay in Talmadge, so. Okay, but I knew, but yeah, we met at the Funny Stop and I'm going to be back at the Funny Stop in April. I don't know the dates, but we'll get to that later. All right, let's jump in. Good to meet you, man. Thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Hey, no problem, man. Thanks for having me. I want to talk about this one first because for two reasons. One, I can't figure it out. And two... I don't care to figure it out. Uh, oh, God damn it. Get that ad off there. After Photogate, further details emerge about when Princess Kate is expected to return to work. Photogate, Kate Middleton, they, they released a picture of her after surgery, and then they took it down because it was Photoshopped. And a lot of people are talking about it. I see a lot of headlines about this. And every time I open one, I read a sentence and go, I just don't care. So I don't know what's happening and I don't care. And I want to know why anyone does care. That's the thing is, 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 do they care in England because it's the Royals? Why do we have this in American news? Why does anyone give a fuck about a Photoshop picture about a princess, which is a fake made up thing? Yeah. I mean, I, I believe the crown on this one. I hate to sound like a British Royal apologist, whatever their story is. I honestly believe because I think if if the um, Prince Harry Meghan Markle thing taught us anything, it's that the conspiracies involving the royal family now can't go that deep. You know what I mean? Like like she completely dispelled the the conspiracy that Queen Elizabeth had Princess Diana killed because if she had Princess Diana killed for what she did, she would have had Meghan Markle drawn and quartered for taking her most slow learning son and embarrassing the whole family with a crazy Netflix series and a podcast and, and whatever other uh, uh, failed mediums that they try to, uh, 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 I don't know, get more famous with or w- whatever they're doing, it's not getting the ratings. So like, not only are they, are they uh, uh, shaming the family, but they're tanking in the ratings too. So it's embarrassing them twice. She would have absolutely had Meghan Markle and Prince Harry probably too killed um, so the fact that they're alive and well means that they just, they're not being run by the Illuminati anymore. So like any weird lizard man conspiracies about Kate Middleton, I'm like, yeah, maybe a century ago, but not, not now. I really think she's just kind of sick, had a surgery. Maybe she's got some ma- marriage problems going. I don't know. Whatever they're saying, I'm buying it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, I, I disagree with you on this one. Ooh. Cause you got to remember Back then, it was easier to get away with. Meghan Markle, are, they're in the States. So it's going to be Fair hard enough. to take care of them. But I think Middleton is dead. Like, I mean, I, I had to ask my girlfriend about the story because I didn't hear about it and I don't care. So I Interesting. Think so, but that is a good point. They did come to America before they started uh, popping off at the mouth. If they would have done that in jolly old England, uh, the podcast studio might have might have had some uh, some some power outages and nobody saw what happened in there for like 20 minutes and then it looked like the inside of Jeffrey Epstein's cell uh, when the lights came back on and I don't <laughs> or, know uh, or, Megan uh, and Prince Harry hung themselves with the with the, with the microphone cord I don't know what happened it was uh, it's a total Epstein situation we'll never know or it would have been like a parking lot uh, for a Boeing whistleblower uh, yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they would have gone full Boeing on on Meghan Markle if she'd have done that in England. Yeah, it's, it's a good one. But but to that though, they got Princess Diane in uh, in in that's, Paris though. That's so what that I'm googling, and that that's literally what I'm doing. That was like Paris. You said they came to America. Like, well, where did they get Princess Diana? She was she was not. Uh, she didn't die in England. They got to no. Her they got her in there. Paris, and then they and then they blamed it on the paparazzi or whatever. But I'm I'm like, it's too it's too hard to kill people with car crash crashes if that's part of your conspiracy what with airbags and whatnot it's just like you know i i if you're a hitman that that relies on car crashes you got to be betting like uh, one for 600 like it's just kind of like you know it, it's like i didn't kill him i i i 
I, I wrenched his neck a bit, though. He's got a neck brace, but I guess I'm going to have to try next week. I, I, I don't a, know. He's got a, an ambulance chaser lawyer that's suing me now. Uh, 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 whiplash. Oh, I'm suing. I'm suing. But you got to remember, I mean, Princess Diana was how long ago? Not a while. Yeah, like 20, 30 years. It was, in the, it was 20, 30 late. years ago. The airbags wasn't that great. So, yeah. I mean, Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> but in the, told- in the limos, they were probably a little better. The, I, I think the rich Illuminati had the, had the good airbags that we didn't get for the next, like, 20 years. They had the NASA-designed airbags. It's just them and the astronauts. Yeah. The, it starts oh. with them, and then we get the trickle-down airbags, the trickle-down technology. Yeah, I, uh, although although I don't know, maybe the Queen of England wrenched their airbags to where like the the airbag pops up and it's just a deflated picture of Queen Elizabeth with the like with that like pissed off look on her face, and that's the last thing they see is a deflated airbag with the Queen on it. Was there? And I, I, again, I don't know why I'm talking about this other than it's so fucking pervasive. Wasn't there a shot of like Kate Middleton? Is that who it, it, leaving the hospital? Like, yeah, why don't they just show her like? I think the problem was the 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 picture, from what I can understand, was so perfect, and that's why, like, well, wait a second, I just show her on her couch, like, hey, hanging in there, you know, like, uh, yeah. alive, not doing the best. I had surgery. Yeah. Fuck off. Leave me alone. Why? Yeah. I guess the problem is they're just so image conscious that they had yeah. to make it like, hey, she's perfect. She can go fucking dunk a basketball right now. She's the princess. Right. She can do anything. She's chosen by God, or at least chosen by the 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 prince that was chosen by god right but you got to think about it uh like my girl was telling me that uh middleton has like a big presence on social media and they try to figure out why she just wouldn't like make a post and say hey i'm doing okay surgery went okay but right I'm having some complications and because she puts her life on the internet all the time anyway but why not now it it is it is a weird thing that uh, you would you would go to the trouble of even staging a like a photo or whatever. I, I mean, even with take the Photoshop element away from it, when you could just kind of jump on IG live for thirty seconds and be like, things are going well. Uh, God save the queen or king or whoever's in now, and uh, keep us rich. Keep us get, keep keep buying me castles, taxpayers of England. You know, just at least give them. If they're gonna buy you a castle, you at least owe them an IG live when they're concerned about your well being. I think yes. it's rude to all the taxpayers who are paying for you to have. I I, I don't know fifty seven servants or whatever the hell you have in there in that crazy palace of yours. That's a good goddamn point. Well, not that we care, but it will continue to play out. In the media, uh, I will say this, at least whatever is going on with this conspiracy, at least it's less crazy than all the QAnon shit. It may be as stupid, but it's less crazy. And you got to give it credit for that. I, I think not yet, but that's because we don't have our best and brightest conspiracy theorists on this case. I think Alex Jones should be sent to England to cover the royal family. You know what I mean? Like, I think he should have the black T-shirt and everything being like, Kate Middleton has been replaced. She is being played by Meghan Markle. Uh, she's got one of the Mission Impossible skin masks over her face right now. It's her. I'm telling you, Kate Middleton has been murdered by the left wing media. I, I'm, I'm for that. All right. Good call. All right, now uh, I'm sick. Of, I did. I didn't even want to talk about, but I felt we had to. But all right, let's let's jump in. I'm going to do this story because Jake, you and I have talked about this in the past. This is a good one. It makes me happy. James Crumbly, father of Michigan school shooter, found guilty of involuntary manslaughter. That means both the mother and father were found guilty. Um, I mean, because they they neglected their kid. They it was crazy. They bought him a gun, said, ah, you know, have fun, go to school. Just don't shoot it up. They might not have even said that. And good. Fucking neglectful, shitty. Have a gun. Go have uh, go shoot. A play. They need to be held accountable. It's sad that the kid is fucked up and has hears voices and all that shit. And if you're not going to even attempt to help your kid, if you're going to go play with the horses like the mom did, then, yeah, you can sit in court and cry and say, oh, my life is ruined. Yeah, your life is ruined after you fucked up a kid that fucked up other families. It's I couldn't be happier that they were both found guilty. Sean, you go first. Hey, I absolutely agree on that. We uh, we actually go touch on it on our podcast tomorrow. But um, I agree. Like somebody got to be held responsible. We talk about this too many times about the gun laws and no one's doing anything. 
start charging these parents with, especially the neglectful ones. Like they just some shitty ass parents. He told them he was hearing voices and had problems and they neglected to take him to therapy, which people need. And now you get this, you know, you got these other families that are literally torn apart because they don't have their kids anymore. So fuck them to their horrible parents and they deserve to rot in jail. And not just that, I believe that at the school meeting that day, they never said, you know, oh, he owns a gun or the picture he's drawing looks like the gun he owns or hmm, let me see if the gun is still in the house or have you checked his back? Like they, they didn't even mention any of that. They just said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's drawn pictures about shooting people. Uh, ah, give him detention. You know, we're, we're it, it. Yeah, it just. Not yeah, people, parent- people are kind of, of afraid about this being a sort of slippery slope thing. It's like, well, now they're going to start charging all parents anytime their kid does a mass shooting, which I mean, yeah, would be unfair. But th- I don't think this will turn into that because, A, I don't think most parents are responsible for their kids doing mass shootings. I think most for the most part, the kid's just fucking nuts. Also, this was such a unique set set of circumstances. Like that's yeah. why they're being charged. There, there hasn't been this much um, of a like like a warning directly to the parents by the school before now. Like that's why this is such a different case than all the other. Oh, the kid just grabbed a gun from home kind of kind of deals. But this is like at the point to where the, the 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 school is calling you and being like, yeah, we caught him in fifth period masturbating to other school shooters manifestos. Can you can you do something about this? Can you maybe I, I don't know, keep him out of school, definitely keep him away from guns. And the parents are just like, ah, you sound like Nancy Pelosi right now. Fuck that. I'm giving my kid. I'm going to I'm going to take him to the range and let him shoot the demons out. You know, just let him get it out through through the rifle, you know, and they they, they just. They, they gave him the gun. They didn't do anything about this. All the warning signs were there. It's kind of like how it's tough to actually convict somebody of defamation because it's, it's in a legal sense, it's hard to prove malice. And it's, 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 it's hard to basically prove that y- you weren't also tricked by whatever you were saying like that, that you, 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 you knew a hundred percent you were saying something wrong and that you were doing it with malice intent. Now with the, with the, um, what was that with the Fox thing with the, the, the oh, voting they had all machines, the emails the in the thing? background with the they, they, that was yeah. a, such a unique go one on they had all these say, texts and things. And so yeah. it's sort of the, the school shooter equivalent of that, where you're not going to have this much information on public record like like that can be bringing brought into court. I mean, you could there will be a lot of like that. Well, we think they should have known because the kid was a little weird, but it's like, yeah, it's, it's hard to actually quantify that in a legal sense here. They had it because they had. On paper, this is why we're bringing the parents in with the school, you know, like this is what we're talking to them. So, yeah, the the parents had like nowhere to go with this one. And I can't see this happening with most school shooters parents. But I can see it at least opening the door and like, okay, can we examine and see how much, uh, quote, evidence there is? Can we trace back to, oh, you know fucking steal from breakfast club oh you know dad used to put cigarettes out on the kids so whatever you can say that it's the kid what it boils down to what you said if you do have that but that's my point is you're not going to have that much documented evidence um that this parent was neglectful to this level maybe he didn't spend enough time playing but at least they'll try like that at least now the door is open and they can look into it because i think i've mentioned this in the past um the the there was a documentary I only saw it once I'd love to see it again. It was when Judas Priest got taken to trial because one kid killed himself, another tried to commit suicide, and I think died later. I don't remember, but they they blamed the Judas Priest lyrics. Oh, there's backward tracks on the Judas. It's Judas Priest's fault. And the documentary went and interviewed the kid that was still alive at the time and the parents, and. With it, and they, they were just, it was a hands off documentary. It was literally like set up the camera and let people talk like it should be. And Jesus, fuck, you were like 10 minutes in going, Oh, it's the parents. That right. kid was that way because the parents are fucked up. And so that it, it's not the music. It's, and so this at least allows people to, it cracks the door. And I think it's helpful. I don't know that there'll be more convictions, but cracking the door and allowing it to happen because. 95% of the time, it is the parents and how they raise that little shit. Absolutely. Absolutely. I absolutely agree. And I'm glad they're cracking the door with that. And then the defamation one that you were talking about, Jake, 
Uh, we just got to ask Cardi B because she won her defamation suit against that one chick that was literally spreading lies to make money. And I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, that's I'm, true. I'm, fill, fill it. I, I'm completely lost. on There that. was what, that what was another there? one where they they had a lot of text messages and things like that. Where like if they can get that on you, you can you can win defamation. But okay, well, it's, it's Sean, hard to I, actually. I, I, I know nothing about what you're talking about. What happened there? So Cardi B, one of them, you know, whack. I know, I know who she is. I don't know much okay, about her. Yeah, but... so uh, some chick that was a blogger on YouTube or whatever uh, had a show and she just kept shitting on Cardi B and making up stuff saying she had like herpes and she was raping uh, some of her clients when she was a stripper and all this and that. And Cardi B sued her for defamation. And like, it was kind of, like not really a big, big case. Yeah. In, in the black community, it was a big case because they kept talking about it on the radio shows. Um, and Cardi B won. I think it was like two point something million. Uh, mm. that she had to file bankruptcy, lost her yeah. house, all that stuff. And she's crying, Oh, poor me. I was just reporting the news, but it was all lies. And they proved right. lies. Did she have any, like, Oh, I got it from this website or anything? Fuck like no, so man. She, it was... And it was like multiple crazy stories. It wasn't just one crazy story where it's like, Well, this thing about her drugging people, I heard this from a source and that guy turned out to be wrong. It was like, yeah, but you also said this other crazy thing and this other yeah. crazy thing so, to where it was just it was too much crazy shit. You can okay. maybe get away with one of those. But I want to go sideways with this. I have to go uh, explain this to me. How the fuck is Alex Jones still on the air then? Because he lost his, you know, multimillion dollar loss. Like they sued him and won. How the fuck? Fuck is Steve, he, if this woman has to declare bankruptcy in his crime, Alex Jones is, hasn't paid a single fucking cent, and all he's done is lie for twenty fucking plus years. Well, he's he's on his own like internet channel. Like you can do that no matter what. Oh, because it was on YouTube that made it special. Like she used YouTube. I, I'm guess I'm confused. Well, no, Alex, Alex, I don't even know who Alex Jones is. What color is he? He's, he's a honky. he's a white guy. He's the white guy that's oh, oh usually okay, the that's, black that's, t-shirt, the conspiracy guy, the Sandy Hook guy. That, that's. The answer for you, Nathan. The other lady was a black lady that had no money. This guy, gotcha. Alex, has been doing it for a long time. Plus, he's white and he had money. And there's a lot of people that back him on this shit. But he also lost. He lost the case. He lost in court. And he's still on the fucking doing his yeah, thing. Yeah, but A, only on his own platform. He's on Infowars.com. It does not cost a lot of money to keep your own private website but up did and you running. Kick this other woman off for her for her lies. I'd or... imagine, right? I mean, uh, I I don't know, like, because I've never seen her show. I just heard about it. Yeah, so. yeah. So I right. don't know the I, difference I... between being on YouTube and having on your own platform. I, well, because I guess... YouTube can boot you off. Yeah, your you can have the terms. You of can't service. be booted off your own platform. Mm. Yeah, he's not on YouTube. Alex Jones not wrong. There on... are two justice systems. Yeah, that that's that's that. Well, yeah, go. but it's also like the Alex Jones had a lot of money at one point. And if you know something like this is coming, you could kind of yeah, buy shit. It. You, you put can it stash it away. Dad. Whereas this yeah. lady was just some crazy blogger who, uh, like, yeah. she never had her own brand of ass wipes and you, you know weird uh, um, uh, uh, pharmacy supplements. pills. All I mean, no, Alex he would, Jones sells Alex Jones would hawk like pharmaceuticals to people oh, wow. on his show yeah man and he would have all these it was always really funny to watch info wars when because he would be talking about all these massive conspiracies that like alien stuff and weird but also like well the un is going to send troops marching into the street to declare martial law in the united states and they're being run by aliens but then he would take breaks from that to where i'm like dude if if what you're saying is true, if half of this is true, you're the most important human being that's ever existed. Like you're fighting the aliens. You're 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 Will Smith in Independence Day meets I don't know Luke Skywalker and all these guys. But then he's like taking breaks in the middle of the speeches to be like, but to fight these guys, I'm gonna need a war chest. Buy my supplements today, you know. And he would go into live read mode and then back into the the you know the the country's the going world. to be it occupied like by the new world order. interrupting war of the worlds for a commercial yes it was it was yeah as if as if george orwell oh my god the aliens are taking us over well, also george try orwell captain crunch today animal farm. Like, you're thinking orson welles wait what are you talking about war of the worlds orson welles the radio broadcast like the aliens are landing yeah that's what i said you said uh george orwell 1984 Animal Farm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, e either way, either way. Um, thank you for derailing my Orwell riff with my with my f fucking. Hey, it wasn't this Orwell. Oh, I'm a nerd from fucking 70 years ago. Like, what are you talking? Are you a time traveling dork? How do you know this information? <laughs>
Here, I had a thought that I fucking lost. I know they were the same guy until right now. I'm not going to lie, dude. I thought both those Orwells was the same guy. I can tell Sean who Alex Jones is uh, for the black community. He's the guy that when Kanye went down in his gimp mask and was talking about how he loved Hitler, that was the Alex Jones show. That was InfoWars when Kanye was all gimp mask, like, no, no, you don't understand. I love Hitler. I mean, I love him. And Alex was the guy like, ah, you don't mean you love him. No, I really mean I love him. That's Alex Jones when when Kanye went down and was talking about how much he loves Hitler. No, yeah, for sure. If you saw a picture, he talks like this. He's got the deep voice, kind of raspy, kind of talks like that. But yeah, it um, it would be weird to be introduced to Alex Jones for the first time through the Kanye interview, because for the first time ever, Alex Jones was the same voice of reason. And uh, <laughs> he's just sitting there going, Kanye, you didn't mean all that crazy shit you said. And he was like, yes, I, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I meant all of it and more. I'm just Google yes, who he yes. was and see a picture. I still don't know. No fucking. Oh yeah. Dude, like, I'm, I'm found... not a Kanye fan, so I didn't see that. Oh, see I just thought because it was such big news. The Kanye thing was such big news that you would have. It, it's like the Kate Middleton shit. I didn't hear about it. Like I don't fucking pay attention to Kanye. He's, you know, oh. he was. Uh, see, a, that's the thing. Neither do I. I don't pay attention to fucking Kate Middleton. Every time I open the news, it's like, why the fuck is she in my news feed? I don't care about her. So I want this. <laughs> it's literally it's because I think, like, I think, Kanye and Kate Middleton should record an album together in secret and then and then release it. And but it's gotta have like a pro Israel message. That's how he can come back. You know what I mean? Like, like now, see, because Kanye got anti-Semitic when he could have waited a year and then just just kind of threw Netanyahu at the beginning of all his championship. Like he Dude, he he got into the anti-Semite game before it Too blew early. up. If he would have said all this same shit now, half of my most liberal friends would be like, you go, Kanye. <laughs> I'm buying oh, every single right. one of your CDs again. It's just timing. It's all timing. He was it's too, just timing literally too soon. <laughs> yep. Yep. He did it. He, he bought too early on, on the, uh, the anti-Semitism bandwagon. All right. Oh, this is a fun one. DA Fannie Willis allowed to stay on Georgia election case after lead prosecutor resigns. That was the result of the trial in Georgia when it found up. Uh, my favorite take on this was was the Daily Show. The Daily Show said uh, you have George, uh, you have Donald Trump dead to rights. All you have to do is not fuck someone in the same office and then promote them. And that's what you did. You fucked someone in the office and promoted them. And so they got off easy. They got off easy. The, the judge said, okay, both of you cannot work on this case because you're fucking one of you asked you. And so the, 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 uh, the, the guy resigned and, and she can stand. Fannie Willis can stand, but it's like, I mean, I literally, all you had to do was, was, was not get involved in like, Oh, we're having sex. I bet the media could make something of that. Well, why don't we just not work together? Because the instant anyone finds out we're having an affair, that'll be the story. Nope, you can't even see that far into the future that you two being in a relationship will be the story. And I heard this. I don't know if this is true, but I heard this, that apparently the the Nathan Wade, the lead prosecutor who resigned, was not the best lead prosecutor. So the, the joke I heard was that Republicans should have just shut up and said, oh, he, he got this because he's banging her. All right. They could have put like a fucking attack dog on it, but they're using him. Uh, they should have just sat back and like let it play out. But yeah, it, dude, I'm proud of this guy. He's breaking the glass ceiling. Normally, it's women that sleep their way to the top in, in corporate America. You know what I mean? This guy's great. Love this dude. Helping all of us. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't read up all, enough on that one. I was just lost. I was like, wait, prosecutor? Okay, Georgia. All right, whatever. <laughs> oh no, that's just uh, well, the, the the prosecution of, of Trump trying to steal the election. The, uh, dude, I'm on Fannie Willis's side for this whole fucking thing, dude. I I think she should be able to keep this guy on. I think she should fuck him as much as she wants. How pissed are you if you're Fannie Willis? You're like, wait a minute. But the guy I'm prosecuting was convicted for rape in civil court. What do we? This is consensual sex with a dude my age. What do we? Uh, hey, come on now. Right. I should and at least be able to keep prosecuting. If we're being honest, I mean, it's not like he's a he's not a, a handsome man. He's not unattractive, but he's a little out of her league. So good on him. He he like he's using her as a as a climate ladder. Like. He's not saying. unattractive, but he he's like, eh, I'll do that for a promotion. So like he broke said, the glass he, ceiling. I remember growing up as a young boy uh, uh, back home in Iowa. My dad used to say to me, Jake, no, no matter what, remember, you are going to grow up to be a man. And men don't get to sleep our way to the top. 
in 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 legal professions and things like that. And I I kind of you know I lived. Luckily, my son is not going to have to live with that glass ceiling. You know, this dude shattered it with his dong. Nathan Wade. I appreciate this guy. I appreciate this guy. But it shouldn't matter. Look, this is such a clean cut. They have him, like you said, they have him dead to rights. It he's on the goddamn matter. phone. They have a message recorded. Or not Dude, message. They got they have, him. Yeah. Yeah, he's on he's on phone recording, talking to the governor, going, get me 11,000 votes. You don't even need to send Fannie Willis down there. You could send a hungover intern at fucking 10 in the morning, <laughs> just sitting there, pressing play on this thing out of one half-open bloodshot eye. You'd be like, yeah, this is, this is what he said. This is, what he said. This, is, this is recording. Blah. And he's vomiting over the recording and everything. It, it doesn't matter. Like, you have him on tape doing that. So, it, it honestly, Fannie Willis could be guilty of human trafficking. I don't care. She could have fucked this guy, and then together they could have Jeffrey Epstein, Jelaine Maxwell, a bunch of, you, you know what I mean, like girls in a Connex from Ukraine or something, uh, uh, to, 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 to weird whorehouses throughout the country. You could have her doing that, and she'd still be able to, out of, uh, with her handcuffed hands, you know, for her human trafficking ring, she could be in the orange jumps. You go, Your Honor, listen to this real quick. And then she pressed play, and then boom. Case one. She still got to serve her time for whatever she did to those kids, but like she would win this case. So I don't think this should matter that much. Well, except for the fact that we're Americans and we're fucking stupid and we're easily distracted and sex sells. So the fact that the Republicans were able to say, hey, look, these two are fucking and it became the story. I, you know, two grown it, adults doing what grown adults do. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh -wee. But they ain't out there talking about, oh, I can just go shoot somebody in the middle of Times Square and you're still going to vote for me. Like, the only yep. reason I run Republican is because they're going to believe any lie that I tell them. Like, yeah, all right. It's yeah. crazy, dude. How, how awesome would it be if the Trump campaign hired this guy? And he was like, he was, you know, it was, it was like the old honeypot espionage. They were like, all right, dude, we've gone through her dating profiles and stuff. Like, we've, we've hacked into all that. We know her type. We're going to get this guy on the inside, both metaphorically and literally. He's going to go in there. He's going to fuck Fannie Willis. He's going to leak it to us. And then, boom, we're going to get Trump acquitted. All we need to do is get a man on the inside. I think that's what happened. I mean, as I said, he's not like way out of her league, but it, it you know. Exactly. It, it, they were like, you know, because because any rookie, any rookie spy would have been like, let's just get a straight up 10 in there. Let's let's get like Brad Pitt, Denzel Washington in the 90s. You, you know what I mean? Like somebody really. And it's like, no, no, no. Fannie Willis, she's a prosecutor. She'd be like, you're too hot to want to fuck me. You're a spy, ain't you? They got like a 7.2. You know what I mean? Like that's the, you know, like slightly out of her league, but not too much to where it's like, you know, if he was a little drunk or whatever, he would fuck Fannie Willis. <laughs> that was the perfect. That was the perfect level of hot. Yep. You, you know, you, you don't want to go crazy. Hot enough that she wants it. But funny enough, looking that it's believable. Boom, 7.2. Whoever did the math on that one, Roger Stone, if that was you, congrats, buddy. You know, you still got it. You they probably called it. in a Hollywood casting director for that one. Yep. Uh-huh. All right, here we go. Let's get into some good news as we start. I bet it was up. the same guy that faked the moon landing. Prior to the development of COVID vaccines, the virus killed Democrats and Republicans equally. But after vaccines became available, the overwhelmingly red counties had much higher COVID death rates than dark blue counties. I don't know about the last line here. The last line is this didn't have to happen. Maybe it didn't have to happen, but it's kind of funny that it is. It shows that 400 deaths per 100,000 people. You're down to under 200 uh, deaths per uh, 100,000 people. Conservatives are well over 400, and the liberal counties are less than 200. So, yeah, they're dying at double the rate, and uh, eh, God bless them. You know, it's 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 like a self cleaning oven. That COVID's taken out the. Yeah, I don't care how you stand on it. You know, I I was never a passionate. Jake wasn't either. Like, you must get vaccinated. Everybody get vaccinated. Like, yeah, make your own choice, but. Here are the consequences. I, it's too crowded in this city. I rent's expensive enough. I was I got vaccinated early, but I was pushing anti-vaxxer conspiracies. I needed to clear the fucking place out a bit. Honestly, I needed the rent prices to go down. Uh, I was a I was a vaccinated anti-vaxxer. Ah. John, <laughs> any thoughts? 
<laughs> I, I mean, I got it because I travel, you know, in our business, yeah. we got to travel. So that's the only reason why I got it. Other than that, I probably wouldn't have got it. My daughter doesn't have it. I'll tell you that much. So um, it's funny. I, I think they didn't drink enough bleach to get rid of it. You know, that's what Trump told them to do. So I don't think they drank enough of it. You know, it's funny yeah. because we, we keep they talk about how close that what's funny to me is. All we hear every day is, oh, the election is so close. Trump is in the lead. Biden's in the lead. Oh, it's by one percent. And yet something like this comes out and it's all oh, Republicans are dying at a none of this matters until the votes are counted. I mean, you can say, oh, so many Republicans are dying now. Oh, I can't believe people forgot about whatever is going to happen is going to happen. It's all noise. It's all noise to get everybody worked up and say, "Ooh, Trump's in the lead. That's good or bad or you know, Republicans are dying. That's good or bad. It all is just what it is. And they love to write uh, um, stories about it and get people worked up. But I will say this. Uh, I don't I don't know if, if all of those numbers are only related to not being vaccinated. You know what? They also have uh, higher rates of in Republican districts, biscuits and gravy like for bre breakfast. So. I mean, that's good. You know what I mean? During COVID, for Christ's sake. During COVID, you're going to eat biscuits and gravy? That's on a weekly Lots basis. Of bacon, clogged arteries. Yeah. So, I mean, I think it's just the old the old saying that don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. They always do that switcheroo on us anyway. They, they give us this story so everybody can be focused on this shit while they're doing this dumb shit under us. Just like that, that TikTok ban they're trying to do. It's not about TikTok. <laughs> shit, nowhere near. So... You know what they like to do. Don't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Yeah. What, what yeah, it is. It is weird. Because my favorite take on it so far is like, oh, you can't have TikTok uh, making us stupid. That's for Instagram, Facebook and Snapchat and Google, like you as every other platform that does the same thing. We just don't want the one owned by China making us stupid and distracted. So you got to do you got to do your deep dive, uh, your deep dive on that. That bill is just not about TikTok. That that's what they're pushing the narrative as it's banning TikTok. It's more of them about getting into everything they have access to, but even doing it more. As far as being able to look up every single thing that everybody is doing, even though okay, they're already like able to do that, but they're able to do it more and make it even more legal. Kind of like a Patriot Act where like, oh, we must protect the country. By the way, now we can monitor every single phone call. We can open all your emails where it's, it's a Trojan horse. All right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, Text yeah, I mean, messages, emails, uh, recordings, everything. They're going to be able to have access to all of that from us just by saying, oh, we want to ban TikTok because it's making people dumb. It's not about that. It, yeah. It, they're worried that China's hacking our phones, basically. Yeah, like, they that's say kind the of tick, tick, the app gives, the, you, it gives them access to everything. And, well, if China has it, our government wants it, of course. Well, right. And it, it's, it's a weird timing on it because it was the Republicans who were pushing that for the most part early on. Um, but now Donald Trump is starting to make money on TikTok. Well, and like that. if that guy starts to make money off of investors things, on there, he'll I just, fucking, he'll, that, that's, he that's will the thing is I sent you that on story. It. Trump talked about banning TikTok and I have the story up and, and it's basically one of the lead investors, a mega donor, uh, a, a investor has a stake in TikTok, a mega donor to Trump said, hey, will you shut up with the TikTok? I give you money. And he he changed his position like that. Oh, you. You person who gives me money like yep. TikTok, well, then I like TikTok too. Then he started. He uh, that yeah, investor, somebody, then he loses that money. Like I, I can't take money away from my biggest investor. Like what am I stupid? He's not yep. stupid. We know one thing: Trump is not stupid. So he's gonna be like, oh no, hey, 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 no, let's not do that. Come on now, uh, -uh no, right. On. That's the way I'm gonna get in. You know, no. His his main values is what makes me more money. I know he's talking all this pro-life stuff. If he somehow finds himself in the possession of a whole bunch of abortion clinics in, in, in red and purple states, he will flip on Roe v. Wade so fast. And if every woman needs the right to choose. Just go to my abortion clinics. They're not, they're not bad. Like those unsafe Planned Parenthood ones. Go to the Trump ones. We have a priest. He blesses the little thing. It, it, it's fine with God. God loves it. He loves the Trump abortions. Not the left-wing Democrat abortions and Planned Parenthood. Go to the Trump abortion clinics. It's great. We use little golden scapulas to get in there. What are the, the scapulas? We have the best scapulas. 
And we even oh. put shoot, we even putting little booties on them that say Trump forever yeah. with, the, with, the, with the flag on it. <laughs> All right, last story. We have story. little tiny T-shirts. We put them on with tweezers. It looks adorable. They go to heaven and they go to heaven drumped, with, dressed with with Trump MAGA stuff on. Yes. All right, last quick story because we gotta we're, we're running out of time. Wrapping up, I just like this because we didn't Jake and I we didn't talk about this when it happened. I read it and I'm like, ah, that's kind of dumb and tragic. Uh, a, a, a Aaron Bushnell lit himself on fire uh, in front of the Israeli embassy in Washington to protest the war in Gaza. I guess he was doing a cosplay for the uh, Buddhist monk back in Vietnam, I believe it was. Well, he's dead, but a the Palestinian town of Jericho names a street after a U.S. soldier who set himself on. So all worth it. You're dead, but you got a street named after you in a small town in, in Palestine. You, 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 you proved your point. Good on you. I, uh, yay. <laughs> well, dude, to be fair, it's Palestine, Pennsylvania. Like they got to name some streets after Palestinian stuff. What are they going to have? Benjamin Netanyahu drive in pa Palestine, Pennsylvania, of course, they got to name a street after this guy. I think he have deserves it. It's not Palestine, Palestine Ohio, Pennsylvania. That, right? It's Jericho, Palestine. It's in right. It's the actual Palestine in the Palestine. Oh, dude, I thought this was the one in, in Pennsylvania. Ohio. No. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, I read this wrong. Either way, all right. All either way, Pennsylvania, what... Ohio. Get off your ass and name a street after this kid. He lit himself on fire. He lit himself on fire. He deserves a street. He deserves. Yeah, I didn't even give him the full street. You could even do just a block. Like a lot of times in New York, it'll be like 117th Street, but for you know, for one block or whatever, it'll be. Here's why yeah. I'm against this. I'm going to take a stance and say I'm against this because now kids that want streets named after them, they're going to light themselves on fire. This sets a bad precedent. All right, we're out of time. Sean, promote yourself. Where can people find you? Uh, you can find me on my podcast, which is live every Monday. It's called Just Therapy The Podcast. Go to Facebook or YouTube under Just Therapy The Podcast. It's on next day uh, on Spotify, or you can just find me on Facebook under Sean Boyd, uh, YouTube comedian Sean Boyd, all that good stuff. Look me up, IGFB right. Comedy. Find Jake at Jake Vebra, the sign at Jake Vebra on all the socials. And then I can be found at NathanTimmel.com. My wife just upgraded the website. So if you go there, the first thing you see is a link to my special Unapologetic on YouTube. Sean, thanks for joining us. Jake, good seeing your problem. face. Thank you, Chicago's Comedy Scene Radio Thank Network. You, Thank you, Sean. And we're about to get cut off. So goodbye. Israel named a street after the cop that pointed a gun at that guy as he burned to death.